be that you need to do an upgrade. Now, what I will tell you is please bypass 22.3 and 22.5 and go to directly 22.6. And then what I would recommend is fixing it based on what I'm going to show you now. Okay. Now you can fix it today if you want to, but I can't I can't assure you that you know it might take either. So first and foremost, when you have da -da 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 -da, let's go into we don't want to start here. So if I was to go into a workstation and I'll use this as P20, you can see that there's only one disk C because there's only one drive. Well, what Mark is describing is that based on 22.2 is that multiple, probably multiple C drives were added, right? It's almost like what we did was if you look at the service template for a workstation, is that you can add multiple instances like this, but by default they're turned on. So this is technically a bug. And what you can do to remedy this is what I would do is this. Okay, once you go up to 22.6, again, um, let's come here, add, I'll call this um, workstation, Always do. I always do device class first or the device first, then the service. I'll call remove disk, and then what I'll do is workstation, and then I'll go down to disk. I'll add that service. Make sure you're using asset info. It'll remove all disks. Okay. Now we want to do under the action. We want to remove. Okay. Save. Now, I'm only going to apply to my one lab device. So if I come up to the all device view and I go to that PE20, PE20, I can now apply my service template, which is workstation, remove disk, apply. And effectively, I have now removed the disk monitoring, whether it's one, whether it's 20 on that device. Now, of course, I need to re-add it. So what I'm going to do is come back and go to PE20, select that, apply service template, and either one, I'm going to reapply my clone or whatever, wherever my typical workstation disk monitoring is, or what I'll do is create another one called add, and we'll call it workstation, and spell it right workstation add disk okay now the difference being is that we're not going to choose remove disk add now typically i only monitor c so i don't use asset info so c colon i do hard code it on workstations and laptops because i don't usually care about the other drives the only time i care about other drives is if they're paying me to care okay so typically you're only caring about the operating system, that's a C drive. And then I'll choose workstations. Oh, I gotta do redo it, one sec. Add, uncheck, C colon, add, and now we're gonna leave this to add or modify, or you can just choose add if you want. I leave it to add or modify. And then what you're going to do is you can one, either associate it to a rule or what have you. I'm, there's no rule association right now, so I'm gonna leave it. But I'll save that, and just to re-add it, all device, PE20, select, apply service template, and we'll call this workstation, add disk. And that should only add the one instance, okay? And that's probably how I do it. If you're doing it, things on mass, you know, you're not going to apply the entire workstation service template because it's got all of all the other monitors. Be specific with it, remove only disk, and then only add in disk. And then once it's done, let me show you service templates is that, again, it should be you know, listed under the workstation down here, uh, remove disk, right? And if I go ahead and delete this, it's gonna say, hey, it's already been applied by this. I can't get rid of it. Okay, so you would have to remove association. It's not in a rule, save. Monitoring is sticky. So a service template is really just a vehicle to apply monitoring, right? 
once it's on the device, it's on the device. It doesn't get, it doesn't get removed because holistically, what should happen is that it's also still assigned to your default template. So, and if I go again to remove disk, I did it for that one. Where is add disk? Let me go back. Workstation, add disk, same thing. Association, remove that association. Okay, doesn't remove the drive, it removes the associated template from it. And then we can come down and effectively go ahead and clean it up. Now, people ask me, well, do I have to clean it up? Hell no, you may want to use it again. So it's just what I do. I like, I'm kind of finicky when it comes to service templates and monitoring and everything else, but that's how I would do it. 